I'm going to analyze two teasers for Dark Deception Chapter 4. If you want to skip to a particular teaser, check the timestamps in the description. Let's start with teaser 1. It's been so long. So very long. The teaser starts with a voice that sounds like Beer saying, It's been so long, so very long. With the video showing a first person perspective of walking towards a cabin in the woods. Beers could be talking about it being so long since they were here before. The line could also be referring to it being a long time since Doug Hauser was there before. But I think it's likely that Beers is talking about being trapped in the ballroom under Malak's spell. We know from Beers' audio tapes that she summoned Malak in a ballroom and made a deal with him to forfeit her soul after a seven year period of wealth and fortune. That took place sometime in the 40s and 50s, the days when James Cagney was a popular actor and MGM, one of the oldest film companies, was a big player in the film industry. If this is the case, the cabin in the woods is probably just an area where we encounter the trigger teddies, since the music we hear from them sounds similar to the song Teddy Bear's Picnic, which mentions being surprised going to the woods because you'll find teddy bears having a picnic. The camera shows what appears to be a maze on the inside of the cabin. Perhaps this is where we finally get to interact with the trigger teddies and capture more of the soul shards. There aren't any soul shards spawned into the stage here, probably for cinematic effect, but the head bobbing gives me very big Doug Hauser vibes. The presence of lanterns around the stage is a bit freaky to me because if they go out, the area around it could go dark. So this could suggest that there would be a new power to unlock that lights up the area around the main character. Considering each nightmare focuses on Doghouse's fears, perhaps this one will showcase a fear of the dark, as well as rabid wild animals that can tear you limb from limb. This may also be one of the settings where Doug performed one of his heinous crimes, mentioned in the Crazy Carnival newspaper article. Next we see a large courtyard for what seems to be a stone castle or a mansion style stage. The area seems to be very foggy, with lamps and benches all around, but we don't get to see much else. This could be an area where the fog gets so bad that it impedes your vision, which could call for the new power that we mentioned before. It might not just light up an area, but simply give you visual clarity of the area around you. Otherwise, we could have a new power to clear the fog all the same. It could also simply be an outdoor area, leading to the next maze to live through another of Doug's nightmares. It's tough to say exactly what this area is, since we know that the Reaper Nurse and the Matron, as well as the Joy J Gang will be in the next chapter. This stage could both easily be a hospital or a fairground for a theme park, which makes it kinda messed up how similar those look, but perhaps the next teaser will help us make that decision. The teaser then cuts to a fall above a really darkened area, and this area seems to be the exact same one from the beginning in the woods, but they show a bit of covered area to the left of the cabin, which we can't really see because it's been very darkened out. Either way, the teaser really showcases how large the stages have gotten since the previous chapters. Now on to teaser 2. The video shows a cave area with lanterns. This seems like it's a trigger teddy zone since it seems likely that bears would live in caves and the lanterns look very similar to those in the cabin from teaser 1. The area here seems a bit more vast, so there could be a boss fight here. We all know that Mama Bear is the boss of the trigger teddy zone, so it seems to check out. The scene fades to a hallway in the caves with flaming torches, probably an extension of the cave we saw before leading to a boss fight. The video then shows what seems to be an outside area of the castle grounds that we saw in teaser 1, and it's still pretty tough to say exactly what it is, but I'd say it's looking a little bit more like a hospital here, but could still be some kind of theme park. I know we had Crazy Carnival already with the roller coaster ride, but that was technically a circus. And I'm just curious about how the Matron and the Reaper Nurses will be staged in the next chapter. We 
We then fade to what looks like a really foggy industrial area with flashing lights. This area looks really creepy, and I'd imagine it to be the place where we would encounter the Joy Joy Gang. It looks like the perfect environment for metallic footstep sound effects, and we know the Joy Joy Gang are animatronics. So maybe the Joy Joy Gang won't feature in an amusement park after all. This also looks like another area where the lighting will fail you, so get your torches out, Dark Deception fans. In the distance, you can see a staircase leading to an upper level, which just means that there's a bigger area to explore, and so we'll probably get a lower level of the Joy Joy Gang's stage. There's also a digital timer on the right hand side, which is really scary because that could control anything. Maybe it causes some kind of liquid or gas to flood the area, and we'd only be able to be here in certain intervals. Maybe the whole stage is straight up timed and we'd have to speedrun it to survive. Maybe the timer activates an enemy somehow or shows how long they will be active if they're already activated. It might even be related to that Terminator eye that the Joy Joy Gang have, which is pretty darn creepy. We'll just have to wait and see about that, but it'd be really cool if we get a power to straight up rewind time in short intervals. Or maybe we could upgrade the stun power to stop time. But that might be kinda overpowered, depending on the stage design. <laughs> 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 Then we get the all-powerful number 4 with voices laughing at us, and this really scared me when I first heard them. But I'm pretty sure that those are the Joy Joy Gang, which potentially confirms what I was talking about earlier. And the reason I know they sound like the Joy Joy Gang is because Glowstick Entertainment revealed their voices in a video about two years back. They sound really funny and maniacal, and I cannot wait to face off against them. There's no denying that the voiceover talent and direction in this game is pretty darn top notch. And with every enemy having a voice line in the next chapter, it's only going to get better. I also can't wait to see how chapter 4 reveals more about the story we saw in chapter 3 and the juicy secrets it revealed. Tap this video to find out more about them, or check out this video which was picked just for you. Subscribe for more creepy videos. See ya!